Hey guys. So I'm on my way to do a Christmas party last year and Dana goes with me. And on the way there she said, hey, we need to stop by the mall because they're having a candle sale at Bath and Body. She said, they're selling three wick candles. I said, how much are they? She said, nine fifty. I said, wow, well, they're pretty expensive. I'm glad they're on sale. She said, no, that is the sale price. The sale price is nine fifty. I said, how much do they usually cost? And she said, well, the one we have at home costs $26. $26 for a candle? And she said, well, yeah, but these aren't the knockoff. This is the real Bath & Body 3-Wick. I don't care if it's the real Bath & Body John Wick. It's not worth $26. She would probably pay $26 for the real John Wick, but that's a whole other video, I guess. So we get there. And uh, there's a bunch of people lined up outside this building. I'm like, what are they in line for? And she said, for the candles. Now, this was a part of society that I didn't know existed, is that people would line up for candles. I had no idea that was a thing. And I'm standing there with all the other guys. The women are talking about what they want to get, and the guys are sitting there talking. We're all over there just embarrassed that this is what our lives have come to. And one guy, he tried to, he's like, well, I told my wife she was only allowed to. You, you told your wife that she was only allowed to... Dude, you're standing in line to buy candles. You don't call the shots in your marriage. That's fine. Stand over here with all the other defeated people and give up. But don't act like you're in charge. So they're moving us up in like threes and fours, like we're loading a roller coaster. And finally it gets to our turn, and the woman stops. She said, you guys can't go in. Why not? She said, because um, our store has reached capacity. So what? There's only two of us. Let us go in there. And she said, no, it's a fire hazard. She said, can you imagine what would happen if a fire would break out? Yeah, the mall would smell amazing. It would smell fantastic. Can you imagine how good it would smell if a fire broke out in a three-wick candle sale? So anyway, we're standing in line. My wife goes, okay, here's the plan. What? We have a plan? My plan was for you to pick out candles. I was going to make sarcastic jokes about it. We would pay for them, and I'd hit Wendy's on the way out. That was my plan. She said, no, I, I, I want to make sure I know where you're at. She said, I'm going to give you the holder, and you're going to just stand in one spot over there, so that way I can maneuver. <laughs> she needs to maneuver, not just move. She has to maneuver through the store and get, and get what she wants. And so I was like, so my part of the plan is that I just stand here while you shop. Yes. Okay, I've got to be real honest with you. I really like this part of the plan. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And so I'm watching, and I'm standing over the side, and uh, all these women just running around grabbing stuff, raking them in baskets like it's the worst episode ever of Supermarket Sweep, and they run over and they shove the things in the holders and they run back. And so finally we get it, we pay for it on the way home. I'm trying to be supportive. And I said, uh, so which one of these are you going to are you gonna light first? And all these weird flavors are the scents, you know, like peppermint swirl and snickerdoodle and give me $26 scent, whatever that scent was. I said, which one are you going to light first? She goes, well, I'm not going to light them. we got to save them. Why are we saving them? She said, well, we can't burn them. Why would we burn them? I don't know. Why would we burn nine fifty a candle? So the only thing that sounds like we burned. I said, well, that way, if we ever need them, when are we going to need a snickerdoodle candle? She goes, well, you know, we can use other ones, too. What happened in the winter if, like, we lose our electricity? Well, we own flashlights. She goes, well, it just might, might be nice to have these. Hey, if it's in the middle of winter and it's negative four degrees outside and we lose our power and we lose our heat, it's not going to make me feel better to know our living room kind of smells like sugar cookies.